So we have seen up to now the simple epithelia. The cells are coming together, forming some adhesive contacts and finally forming the epithelia or cohesive sheets. These sheets are forming the covering of the body, the organs and also forming the inner lining of the tubes of GIT, respiratory tract and the urogenital tract. All these epithelia are covering epithelia. Some epithelia are also forming the glands. But today we will see other type of the epithelium which is not simple. If there is simple epithelia then there should be some complex type of epithelia also. But this complex epithelia is known as it is known as the stratified stratified epithelia. So this was the simple epithelia. Now I will talk about the stratified epithelia. Stratified when the epithelia are forming the strata. The word strata is used for the layers. So again epithelia. Epithelium tissue or epithelia. We have seen already the simple epithelium or simple epithelia. The other type is stratified. Stratified. Why we use the word stratified? The word stratum or strati is used for the layers one above the other so word is used for the layer these layers one above the other so if this is simple epithelia more than one layer one two three four maybe three four five or more this type of epithelia is known as stratified epithelia in last lecture we have seen the old cells are resting on a membrane this membrane is known as basement membrane so old cells are resting on this membrane this membrane is extracellular matrix membrane and known as the basement membrane. And all cells are approaching. All cells are reaching up to apex. So all cells are also touching the basement membrane. All cells are also reaching up to the apex. This type of epithelium is known as the simple epithelium. But when all cells are resting on basement membrane, maybe columnar, maybe cuboidal may be polygonal but are having multiple layers here other layer above this layer so this is the second layer third layer above the second layer and the other layer above this this type of epithelia where first layer all cells of the first layer are resting on the basement membrane 
the second layer cells are resting on the apex of the first layer third layer cells are resting on the apex of the second layer and so on one special feature of the epithelial cells is the polarity these cells show polarity how these cells show the polarity this is the one cell of the epithelia the cells are forming six surfaces 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 all these surfaces are showing polarity if this is the basal layer this is basal domain this is facing towards the apex so this is apical domain and four layers one two three and four all four are lateral domain the cells of lateral domain are connecting or forming contact with the surrounding cells this basal domain is resting on basement membrane or apex of or apical domain or of other cells and this may be free apical domain may be free or can come in contact to the basal domain of the other cells so one special feature of the epithelial cells is the polarity so this feature is known as the polarity so these cells are avascular having polarity if there are multiple layers means more than one layer the epithelia is known as stratified epithelium so this type of epithelia is known as stratified epithelium if there is if the epithelia looks like if the epithelia look like stratified but having only one layer sometimes it happen how it happens how it happens sometimes all cells are resting on the basement membrane what we see here all cells are resting on the basement membrane cell number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 all cells are resting on the basement membrane but all cells are not approaching the apical surface by this arrangement the nuclei of the cells are seem to be in two layers so this is not true stratified epithelium this type of epithelium is not true stratified epithelium basically this type of epithelial tissue is having single layer this is single layer but due to presence of the nuclei in two rows it gives false belief of stratification or stratum of the cells but it is single layer this type of epithelium is known as pseudo stratified epithelium the word pseudo is used for false pseudo stratified epithelium 
word sudo is used for the false. So this type of epithelium is the pseudo stratified epithelium. In the classical nomenclature and classification, these stratified epithelium are named according to the 2D shape of apical cells. What is the 2D shape? or 2D dimension of the apical cells, note the dimension of the basal or intermediate layers of the cells. If the apical cells are squamous or flat or scal like, this type of epithelia is known as stratified squamous epithelium. Stratified squamous epithelium. stratified squamous epithelium this is the most common type of stratified epithelium this is stratified squamous epithelium if the apical cells or cells of the top layer are columnar it is named as stratified columnar epithelium if the cells of apical zone or the topmost layer is cuboidal it is named as stratified cuboidal epithelium so maybe stratified squamous epithelium maybe stratified cuboidal epithelium or maybe stratified columnar epithelium there are some further modification of these cells these further modifications also help in nomenclature and classification of the epithelia these modifications like in case of stratified epithelium when the cells are not well defined in shape cells can change their shape according to stretching for example, cells may be flat or squamous if stretched. Cells may be cuboidal in unstretched, un unstretching, or may be columnar. This type of epithelium, which is intermediate between, which is intermediate in the squamous and cuboidal, where cells are round, polygonal cells are polygonal round or squamous or umbrella like this type of the epithelium is known as transitional epithelium this type of epithelium is known as transitional epithelium this transitional epithelium is seen in especially in the urinary system like the bladder part of ureter so this type of epithelium is also known as the urothelium so what is urothelium this is a special type of stratified epithelium which allows the cells to stretch during the accommodating some fluids like the urine in bladder so this type of stratified epithelium which is having polygonal cells round cells and squamous cells is known as transitional type of the epithelium but there are some other modifications when we see the squamous epithelium the cuboidal epithelium the columnar epithelium structurally all are same epithelia but functionally and biologically we can't equate these all epithelia for example the squamous simple epithelium is 
seen in alveoli where these cells have to face the toxic gases and these are a potential risk of the damage due to toxic gases. Same types of cells are also seen in the endothelium that is the inner covering of the blood vessels, the arteries and veins where these are at risk against some bacteria and some toxins which are seen in blood. So these cells are structurally same but functionally and biologically we can't compare and equate these two types of the cells. So there are some further modifications which allow to classify it and nomenclate these epithelia. Cilia. Some cells are having cilia like uh, the cilia in, urine, uh, in respiratory system tract where the cilia are having mucociliary clearance mechanism or some other functions. So if the cells are having cilia which are motile, which are motile, the epithelium is known as ciliated epithelium. If the columnar cells are having cilia, it is known as ciliated columnar epithelium. It is known as ciliated columnar epithelium. Maybe having the microvilli. Microvilli are non motile and these are helpful in increasing the surface area. Microvilli. In that case, these are known as brush borders. Stereocilia. The large microvilli are known as stereocilia. These are non motile. Stereocilia, these are non motile. Some stratified cells which are a potential risk of abrasions and wear and tear mechanisms also helping in preserving the water like the skin cells are having protein molecules fibers known as keratin this type of epithelium is known as stratified squamous keratinized so keratin is allah is other keratin is other molecule which helps in nomenclature and classification of the epithelia. If cells are having keratin, known as keratinized epithelium, if cells are devoid of keratin, known as non-keratinized epithelium. For instance, the skin. The skin is having keratin, so known as stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. But mucosa, which is also stratified squamous but devoiding in the keratin known as stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. So, this is the stratified epithelium. In next lecture, we will see the simple squamous epithelium in detail.